And an update tonight on the concern over sprinkler water in Lehigh. Testing con confirmed here that the irrigation water is linked to a dozen cases of E. coli. The outbreak, if you remember, sent some people to the hospital, including a three-year-old girl. New specialist Lad Egan joins us with the latest. Lad? Yeah, I spoke with the family of that little girl. She's out of the hospital but still recovering, and it's unclear if the damage to her kidneys is permanent. She was just so weak just physically weak, not really able to move or drink or eat. It was, it came on really, really fast. Avery Allen spent 13 days in the hospital after testing positive for E. coli. Her grandmother describes watching the three-year-old on a feeding tube, undergoing dialysis and several blood transfusions. It's hard because, you know, she's, she's just, so, she's so young, you know, it's, um, you don't expect a three-year-old to have to endure something like this, so it's really, really hard. Early on, the health department suspected playing in the sprinklers was to blame, and over the weekend, Lehigh City said testing confirmed the presence of E. coli in its pressurized irrigation system. To have her get this sick just by playing in sprinklers, every kid does it. I mean, in elementary school, kids come home, they see sprinklers are, and they just, they go through them. They don't Nobody would realize that this something this serious would come from playing in the sprinklers. Avery is home now, but her kidneys are only functioning at 30 percent. The doctors themselves said it, it will take up to a year to see if the damage is permanent. The family wants other families to know the dangers of E. coli and watch for symptoms like bloody diarrhea, abdominal cramps, nausea, vomiting and kidney failure. One of the things I did was pick her up and she weighed a ton. So, and that's the body retaining the fluid. The Utah County Health Department warning residents to not use irrigation water for drinking or playing and to not eat uncooked fruits and vegetables watered with irrigation water. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. It's, I mean, this would have been fatal had we not gotten her into the doctor. The CDC has recommended that residents not water their lawn, but Lehigh City said that this is left up to the discretion of residents whether to continue to water their lawn using irrigation water. The city also making it clear that the irrigation system is not connected to the drinking water system. Back to you. All right, Lad, thank you for that.